Hey guys, what's going on? DuffGame56 here, back to continue our Let's Play of Yakuza Kiwami. Welcome, welcome back to the Streets of Kamurocho. We have been on the cleanup crew lately. What does that mean? Well, we've been doing all the side quests in the world, fighting all the Majimas in the world, getting all the CP in the world, and doing some pocket circuit stuff. So we've been really happy to do that so far. However, we are having a lot of fun also getting into some of the finer things in the game. One of those things being exactly what I hope to accomplish in this episode, which is the Mezu King. So after this fight, I will be heading to the Sega place to have ourselves a fun time going and learning about a card game which is supposed to supplant, in my assumption, the Cat Girl Fight Club from Yakuza 0. So that'll be a very interesting distraction nonetheless. And I'd be very interested to see exactly what entails this card game. So that was our 10th victim helped and a platinum plate for us, so thank you very much. I'm not exactly interested in fighting Majima just a second. Like I said, I want to try to stay on task here. And that being heading over to the Sega Arcade over here, the Club Sega, if you will. So let's go inside and see what this Mezukink thing is all about. I wonder if the kid will be there or if somebody else will be greeting us there. I will not be sure. Aha! There's the kid. I want to look around very briefly for coin locker keys of all of which... Ooh! Whoa! Okay. The crane game. Ooh boy. Okay. Well, I guess I could help him. Let's go and help him first before we do the Mezuking. I know, I know. We'll probably just have to win the crane game for him. That's something I don't mind doing at all. Yes, okay. 10,000 yen and you've got nothing, man? I will get you the Bunchan, dude. I love, like, big fat birds. They're super cute. So I have no problem getting this dude's prize for his daughter. I'm very excited. Oh, that's, that's just so cute. I can't not help this guy. The white bun chan, dude. I promise I will help you out. Loads of money, hey? I mean, you've spent $100 trying to win it. So I definitely wouldn't mind that. Did you see Miles Tails Prower over there? He definitely wanted me to win the white bun chan for the businessman. So let's go and win the white bun chan. Insert our coin. See if we can win ourselves a prize here. Okay, alright. I, I get what you're trying to say here. But I don't actually know. See if we get lucky here. Come on, we can do this. The UFO catcher will win the Bunchan. Oh, he's gonna be tough to grab now that I think about it. I'll have to think about exactly how I want to grab it. I probably have to grab him from his backside, where I'm not going to hit the hat. There's gonna be some strategy involved here. I'm not very good at the claw game in real life. So, mm, this is really worrisome for me. We're gonna have to knock him on his side somehow. Because I know that's also a strategy for the claw game. Oh, he's kind of fat. Let's see what we can do about grabbing a different one here. He seems not as fat, doesn't he? Come on, get some claw grab strength here. Damn it. Definitely gonna need some help here. To find a way to possibly knock him over to the side and then grab him from the side. I don't know, this guy's already sort of warmed up, if you will. So I'm gonna see what I can do about grabbing him. Maybe we just have to put in so much money and then the game's gonna just like give us a win, per se. Ooh, okay, that was interesting. That was getting somewhere. I almost like grabbed his hat. I like how this is how I'm spending my time, like, in my life. This is <laughs> trying to get this bird from a claw machine. I could be, like, you know... I don't even know what I could be doing right now. I could be, like, world piecing. I could be solving world hunger. There's, like, a whole host of things I could be doing right now instead of this. But this is what I want to be doing, you know? I would rather be here. That's how much I love you all. Let's see if we can grab him from behind here. I know it's sort of a crapshoot, 
and it's not going to be a good grip and he'll probably flip around. Okay, wow, the claw did, definitely did not help us out at all there. We're going to try one more try. These guys are tough to get, man. I'm telling you. Let's see, maybe we should go for a guy on the second shelf here. See if we can knock him down. Maybe? Just maybe? I just don't feel like the claw went down as much as I wanted it to. Oh, that was interesting. Okay, it definitely pressed down into him. So that was good. Let's see if we can get lucky again. Maybe we'll go further towards the back. Yeah, see, it, it definitely shorted us there. I'm definitely inclined to believe that this shit is rigged. Maybe we can just massage him over. Just like, by hitting him from behind. <laughs> the voice is like, taunting me as well. It's like, not very nice. Oh, we knocked it in. Yes! Oh, I'm very happy about that. Okay, that was worth... Was worth the three coins. Give me that Bonchan, bitch. Oh, thank you. Very happy about my time here today. Well spent, as usual. Let's go talk to our businessman here. Dude, I promise you I'm gonna give you one. It's really not that bad. Now what you got to pay me? You did spend 10,000 yen. I wanna give it to him, I wanna give it to him. See, we're nice. My name's Kiryu, so you can just you know, cut me a blank check, Sasaki, and I'll be happy. 10,000? I think that's fair. For what we put in. Very interested in that. Is that another sub-story down? Oh, we're gonna have to win him a bunch of different prizes now, aren't we? That's okay, let's start the Mezzo King stuff. Let's see what we can do about learning about this crazy card game. <laughs> I love this. Yes, we can play Mezzi King. Oh, perfect. So we just slide our card and like that's our character. Very interesting. Good insect fairies need to fight against the bugs. Suddenly turn bad. Okay. Four cards to make a deck. An insert card, which is probably like our main avatar, and then skill cards, which are abilities of my insect. Thank you. Japanese rhino beetle. She is a very interesting looking beetle here. Face masher here. Okay, interesting. So it is another rock, paper, scissors game. Very cool. These are kind of crappy cards. That's fine, I'll take the cards. Let's see if we can play some Mezzi King here. I love this guy. I love this kid. Thank you, man. The Queen of the Beatles is done. That makes me much happier now. But let's actually see what the machine has to offer us. I want to play a round of Messy King so badly. It's definitely something I've wanted to do for like ever. Oh, we have to talk to him again, don't we? Yes, I do. Please, please, please. Ooh, practice match with the professor? Ooh. I don't mind. You can have my one cent. Okay. Rock, scissors, and paper. I want to choose attacks that beat them. Okay. Attack beats rock, scissors, paper in that order. So I want to choose paper, rock. Yeah, it's just rock, paper, scissors, dude. Just rock, paper, scissors. This will be easy. Easy. Okay, so our insert card is the only one that we have. And of course we have our three ability cards on rock, paper, and scissors. Of course they're all very low power. Actually, I want to read what's on the right there. Okay, I see. I just wanted to make sure that this is what we got here. Let's see what we can do with the professor, though. Oh my gosh. This is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, very interesting. Okay, so pretty good strength. I wonder if those are related to our ability cards here. And who are we fighting here? A bug gone bad. The stag beetle. Okay. Okay, so her strength is worse than us, which is good. And we're fighting on a log. Oh my god, this is like the best thing in the world. 
This is awful. What is the best thing in the world? Absolutely. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, we can't we can't cycle through our picks like before. Okay. I see how it goes. I don't even remember what I picked. Shit. Okay, well we got a block in there. Ooh. Fucking A, man. Okay. Oh, was it telling us what to pick there? Okay. Shit! I fell for it again! Oh, we're gonna get fucked here. Oh. Oh, that doesn't- that doesn't bode well. Oh. Okay. So she- is, uh, that's just bad. Bad, bad, bad. Let's choose paper again. Let's choose our best looking attack. Until we just brute force it, basically. Oh, so we got a tie. Okay. How do we win a tie here? Oh, there's no, like, mash phase. Okay. Interesting. Let's do another paper here. Maybe she'll, uh, or he'll take rock. Okay, good. We won one. And it's a high power attack. Ooh. Okay, that did a lot of damage. So he chose rock that time. I want to choose rock again. But I'm going to take scissors. Okay, we'll take that tie. Okay, he's sort of made a cycle around things here. Let's pick scissors again. See if that's how the pattern is here for realsies. We're probably gonna lose though. Oh, okay. We lucked out. Looks like we got ourselves the victory here. Finish her off, Rhino Beetle. Put that stag into the ground. Mmm. That's what I like to see. Mashed in the face. We won ourselves our practice battle with the professor. It's pretty cool here. And we got ourselves a proverb here. If it means things are mismatched. Choose trees that fit your living standard. Thank you. Education and breasts. What a game. I do like rock, paper, scissors. Oh, that's so awesome. Thank you, Substory70, Mr. Professor Mezu King. The practice match was exactly what I was looking for here. Thank you for the 1500 experience as well. What does the businessman want now? Ooh, he wants a monkey. Yes, dude. You're welcome, but what did your daughter beg you for today? The Wu Fam series. Interesting. She wants all three. Well, that's not nice. That's kind of begging for a lot, man. Maybe you should teach your child to be a little bit more grateful about things in life. That's fine. Let's see if we can do it here and get all three in the series. Might as well force us to get good at the claw game, don't you think? I really don't want to make you sad. But I really do want to win all of these. I doubt I will be able to win them all in one fell swoop. But I guess we'll find out, right? Well, that might be a little bit far back, but pushing him forward is exactly kind of like what we want to do. As far as an objective goes here. We definitely need to grab him around the round side of his face, though. So, that's the only thing I'm worried about here. It's not doing that correctly here. Let's see if that works. I know we can dodge the ears. Oh, perfect. Just don't drop, please. Good. Okay, well, that's one. We got Gon Gon. It's always good. Let's see if we can get the baby. This one actually we might be able to get really easily. As you can see, the grab wasn't too bad. Oh, he's gonna drop! Oh, you motherfucker. We gotta put another coin in this machine, man. Uh, I'm glad I got to show off the arcade. This is always fun, man. I'm so bad at this in real life, but it's glad I can play this in a video game and be a lot better than I am in real life. You know, this is like an escape in a way. <laughs> can it be good? Is it balanced enough? Oh, okay. Phew. Not bad, not bad. That's two out of the three. We got two turns left, maybe? One turn left? I don't know. Okay, maybe this is good. I think I'm a little bit off-center. But maybe we lucked out here. Yeah, that's unfortunate. We almost made her slide down the ramp there. But so it goes, you know? Alright, let's try this again. We might have to have them reset the positions if we can't actually get a good grip on it. 
We'll see here. It looks like it's not going to be that bad. I'm going to fall. I'm going to fall. Oh. Oh, we lucked out. Okay. I'll take it, man. That's the three in the family. I'll take that, man. Let's go talk to our businessman over here in the corner and deliver. I want to give him all the toys. Wait, what? Did we not get the last one? Wait, how do we not? I thought we won them all. Is this... Okay. Do we just have to win the last one then? Fine, I guess. I don't know why... It seems like we won them all. I don't know, I don't know. Oh, that was bad. I should wish we didn't have to wait. That's okay. That's whole part of the claw game, right? It's patience. It's patience and finesse. Oh, that's not good. It's not a good lineup. Let's see if we luck out, though. If we knock him over to the side, which is like what we want anyways. Ooh, that's a really good grip, actually. I will take it. Thank you. Okay, so that's the other one. Gon Gon. See, I've got like two Gon Gons, man. What can we throw away here? Probably the Shochu. Okay. Probably gonna need him to refill the prizes here. For missing something. Which I like, don't understand. Maybe we'll luck out though. See what we got here. Is that a Mezu King card on the ground over there? I want to go and grab that if that's the case. Yes, it is. What do you got for us? Ooh, that's another swipe card with 100 technique. Kuana's Ladybug. Okay, that's kind of cool. We'll change it one more time, and then we'll go talk to the businessman. We got to check on the booze quest, too, man. A lot of cleanup going on on the street right now. But I'm also, like, sort of pausing as to when I will need to... Uh, Oh, was that uh, the last one we need to get there? The chick with... No, we got the chick with the flower. Weird. Go we'll talk to this dude again. I feel like I'm missing... What am I missing from the Wu Fam series? Like, we got the daughters, we got the dad. Check the sub story here. It's like 20, right? So it should be around here. The entire axolotl family. Shit. Those guys aren't axolotls, are they? Mmm, okay, so maybe that's where I messed up. Change the UFO prizes again. If we don't get, like, a good-looking prize output here, then I'm going to go check the alcohol quest. So we have to actually leave the building for that. Which is most unfortunate. Okay, there's more a ton of, like, Wu fam over there, so I'm just gonna, like, leave that. And go look that up later off screen to make sure that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I feel really bad if I just like did all that shit and uh, you guys are like annoying or annoyed for it. Got ourselves a paper wasp though, I'll take that. Thanks for the bug chick chick. And then we'll go check our boost stuff. Of course we have to fight this dude. Of course we'll lose our Majima progress, but that's okay. Oh, that hurts, man. I'm gonna counter you. Take that, Kikuchi. Ooh, I'm glad we came back and hit him. Where are you gonna go, buddy? Oh, Tachibana! No, we can't do that, dude. That, <laughs> Tachibana's uh, already in a compromised state. No spoilers for Yakuza 0, though. That's a lot of good throw damage, actually. I'm kind of surprised I did that much. Let's go check on our booze dude. I know it's going to be like the third sub-story we've done this episode, but that's okay, you know? It is what it is. Oh, this guy looks like he's sad now. Medicine, huh? Is it going to be booze? Yeah, let's give him some health medicine. Let's give him, like, the least good thing here in our inventory. See if that helped you out a little bit here with your hangover. Ah, oh, there you go, buddy. 
All right, there's our PSA to not become alcoholics, boys. You can consume a drink, but don't let it consume you. That's Papa Kiryu. It's another PSA for the alcohol commission of alcohol. <laughs> yeah, what you got, man? Hopefully it's all my money back. Ooh, an alertness hood. Thanks. That helps us come off of our drink, our drunkness faster. There we go, sub story number 26. The drunkard is over. Is this our third sub story of this episode? It's going to be really hard to title this episode to maximize the possible viewership, but that's okay. I'm not really worried about any of that. It's more just like a joke more than anything here. So what do we have here? Oh, I wanted to check the map. Okay. So we can always do more Mezu King. We can exchange money for that dude, or we can go and do that. But, hmm, what can we really do in this situation here. I kind of want to play more Mezu King, honestly, but I also want to check out the main story, so I think the best thing to do is to head back to our hideout in the West Park, and then once I get there, I will probably end the episode and then catch you guys there. Unless I run into anything interesting on the way, it's probably the best directive that I have going on here. I don't exactly want to gamble right now, probably just because I'm not a good gambler. And as much as I want to go to the clubs to check out those ladies, I don't exactly want to do that. I need to find people by vending machines, I think, to exchange money for those 2,000 yen notes. So that's always something that I can think about as well as we go on here. Why are these people just, like, golfing in the streets with no clubs? It's always kind of weird to me. Not sure, though. Let's see if we run by these dudes. Fortunately, that's not the case. That's okay. Let's do some Dragon Odojima fun. Perfect. How much damage? Ooh, quite a bit, actually. Let's try to beat everybody with a single fighting style. Wouldn't that be kind of fun? It's kind of like achievement worthy. Ooh, a charge throw there? I'll take that. Sakamoto man, your time is over. There we go. We'll finish the last guy with the most default basic fighting style. I'll take that, man. Brawler's always fun for me. Some good experience from that as well. It's kind of just stuff that can always shuffle our way as we go along here. I honestly don't actually know exactly how this main story is going to continue, considering that it just tells us to keep a low profile. I'm only assuming that we can go to West Park, to our hideout, sort of spend the night kind of thing and then be done with things. But anyways, the only way we're gonna find out is to do that. Ooh, what's going on here? Probably main story. What? <laughs> ハルカ。すまん。奴らまさかここまで派手にやってくれるとは。何があったんだ。ハルカはどうした。ほんの1時間くらい前だ。ハルカ。私私やっぱりここにいちゃいけない気がするえ私綺麗なおじさんのこと好きだけど私がここにいるとおじさんに迷惑がかかっちゃう何度も危ない目に遭っちゃうはるかだから私はいなくなった方がいいの お母さんももういないし本当はもっとおじさんたちと一緒にいたかったけどはるかはるか<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> <おれ! 笑> 
すまねえキリュウやつらギャングの連中だはるかをさらっていきやがったギャングこの町のグレン隊だヤクザのヤバい仕事なんかを引き受けてる赤白青の3つに分かれてるんだがまとめて襲ってきやがったはるかさらったのは何色なんだ河原のシステムがダウンしちまってる分からねえんだならしらみつぶしにするしかねえな俺は署で情報を集めてくるはるかの居場所が分かるかもしれん分かったジーズズマン Oh, the doggies here. Oh, that's so sad, honestly. Really, really sad. Let's actually take an opportunity to save here. I was not expecting that little bit of story in that、uh, section there. But holy shit. <laughs> that's some serious, serious stuff going on there. I'm kind of worried now for Haruka.、Uh, is she going to be displaced within these gangs back to the Yakuza? Clearly, it's like doing their dirty work or whatever. Let's first talk to Date and then. To, of course, the florist, and then we'll, we'll be done. You know, I want to hurry, but let's see what you have to say first, florist. Maybe they do, maybe they don't, but the only way to find out is to try. But I will do that next episode, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Some good story stuff, of course. This has been Duffking56 with our Yakuza Kiwami Let's Play. See you guys next time. Peace out. Bye bye.